How do you do, sir? Hello, mister. Let's go, girl. Mister, I need mm -hmm. that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This Excuse one's mine. Me. You can go and get your own. Give me that! Oh. Oh. At least try fighting back. Who's talking now? Go huh? out of the dark way! Good job, though! Something else. All right, then. I'm getting a lot of Okay. Oh, thank you, thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on, let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or, or bows. Well, you met them. They are animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters, if God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo, why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Of course. I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay. Let's try and get you a train. Hey, mister. The bow's just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up. Or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can. Makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well. If he's there, that's true love, all right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watched me so carefully, and he's waited, or so his letters say. Our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. <sighs> you saw the house. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. So much bloodshed. I, you'd think this could be a new beginning, but everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. Something good has to come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind us. Plenty before you have. Plenty will again. But, yeah. As far as it goes, get out. Don't look back. Make something decent of your lives. He's a good man, isn't he, Bo? There are worse. He's kind, and he's caring, and he's strong. <laughs> 
I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to laugh. He, he's a lot of things, but... And not strong like you, but strong enough to stand up to his family. To be different from folk. He don't know how hard that can be. Is there a problem? We, we should be moving. To say something is wrong when everyone around you thinks it's right. No, perhaps I don't. But he is a good man, and he's lucky. You're both lucky to have each other. This could be the best day of my life, or the worst. I can't bear not knowing which. Hold on. It'll be clear soon enough. Good, sir. a little just to the first stop fine you came <laughs> you came at last you came oh, Bo, my sweet my best of men <laughs> oh I'm hardly a man at all but I love you Penelope Braithwaite <sighs> sir how can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, some of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Sure. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. <clears throat> can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Well, of course. Of <sighs> oh. Hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly. But good to see you. Hey, cousin. No, hey, no, you no, no. slow. Penelope, get back. Oh. Excuse me, Alden. Get off me, sir. Watch that door. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. Come back here without giving you a whipping. We should have done this last time. Get on the train. Go to your wall. Quite a family you got there, sir. I know. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave. So, what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity, and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bully them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly few. Yeah. Well, how to life. Oh, my lord. Oh, I think it's my second cousin. Oh, these goddamn cousins. I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. I'll deal with this. Jewels?
driver? He's abandoning us. Hold tight, all right? I'll take a look up front. What will you do? I'll figure it out. It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. Thank you. Now, let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there. Mm -hmm. This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh, you carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> Wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! Oh. Miss Braithwaite is gonna hold on to this until arrival. Hmm? On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah!
Come on, girl. Happy to assist you in a moment. Oh dear. Have you come down with the flu as well, sir? Flu? No. What are you talking about? Nothing. It's just been going around, that's all. Anyway, how can I help you? Ready for a clean slate? Take care now. Yeah. have any money to repay you and it looks like you used some maybe I have some information you might find profitable the Valentine doctor is cozy with the old Driscoll boys I've seen them come in and out heard they use it as a place to count their money maybe you can show those bastards they don't own this land okay thank you really I I'll, I'll be on my way sure sure but you got a high tail trust me yep <laughs> My friend, you there. Yeah, what do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here, to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy? Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Uh, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. <laughs> that was fun. What was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. I'll do my best. 
As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Shoot, sir, while our courage holds. <laughs> Nothing to fear at all. <laughs> now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Ellen! Silence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the wretch. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My bottle and his brains, if you please. Excellent. Fine shooting. <laughs> now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm. Thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering oh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. You are too much. Come on, open up. Here. Now you go keep the people safe. It better all be there. Yeah, yeah. I'll be back to check on you tomorrow. All the good stuff are on the shelves behind the my counter. Tonics and medicines are on the table over there. Okay, I'm not one to push. You just let me... Let me just... into that back room of yours right now. Sir, please. You don't want to get involved with them, I promise you. You make them open up, or you're a dead man. Open up! It's me! I, uh, brought some food and whiskey for you fellers. Yeah, it's only the duck. Don't try anything funny. Put it on the table. You can see we're in the middle of some business here. Looks like a nice little business you got.
Can help the blind. Help a blind man. Have this. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Come on, girl. Keep moving, sir. Keep moving. But don't move too fast. Okay. I ain't too sure what to make of that. since you were through here. Remember you. Pass through here sometime. Oh. That's it. Maniac! Yeah. Hey! What a holler! Hey, fella, you seen a dog around? She went and got herself lost. Poor thing's been gone for hours. Any chance you could help me find her, please? Sorry, kid. I'm sure she'll come back when she gets hungry. Fine. Probably too sick anyway. Good. Funny. Well, check this out. You familiar with this here, mister? With this plant, burdock. Ugh. I use the roots to make medicine for my horse. It's better than anything you'll buy in those fancy catalogs. Good for you. Why are you telling me this? Just a friendly tip, man That's to man. Cool, nothing more, nothing less. Well, I'm off to see what else I can find out there. Good luck to you. Yeah, good luck.
So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion, the smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. But... It is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. We don't have a lot of time. The patrol should be coming in a few minutes. Okay. Hurry, Arthur. I'll plant the dynamite, you run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. I sent for some of that dynamite you and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. So, you finally got to see Colm Hank. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. know when they're near. They're coming now. Ah, oh, damn. The patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No. I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Okay, they've passed the first charge. If we blow it now, we should... Put your hands up! You're surrounded! Nobody need get hurt! Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea! Put down your guns! You are making a mistake, boy! No! You're making a mistake! Put your hands up, soldier! Take a little... Humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? 
What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier! My father won't be happy about this. They fired first. Take them! Take them! This is bad. Who started this? Looks like we got a punch there, boy. my father can use to strengthen our case. I ain't sure much is gonna strengthen your case after this. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Sending riders from the fort, we need to leave. But where's Peta? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... We should go. Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! What about Eagle Flash? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! We need to ride hard. Stay with me. You alright? Try and sell them a little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Get out of here. Yeah. Get. Let's see if we can lose them down here. Yeah. Shit. I guess not. Get 
Okay. Follow my lead. I got a plan. This is a good one. Hello, officers. You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up. Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. You're mad. Put your hands up. Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here! Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that now. It's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight. Gra oh, Okay. 
<laughs> You're okay. Uh, what a mess. <laughs> I know. But a mess is what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send them. Uh, where is it? <coughs> He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell them. You rest up. Keep a lookout. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith. <laughs>